Have you ever been in front of a green screen? Like, you know, a screen like this background. This, this isn't here. Well, what a green screen allows you to do is draw on top of some layer. That is so you don't see the rest of my background and you just get an outline of me. And previously what we've been able to do in SDL2 is draw images. But they've been just purely rectangular images. And sometimes we want to get rid of the rest of the noise so we get a nice outline of our character. So let's figure out how to use transparency in SDL by a technique known as color keying. Let's go ahead and dive into the code here. So what I've got here on the right is our source code from last time. So I'm just going to rerun it and briefly remind you of what we've been able to achieve. Some sort of program like this. So we've been able to draw this rectangular image with some characters. But again, we might not want all the details here. Maybe we want to get rid of the green. Or in the case that we're trying to draw some character here, like Donkey Kong, we don't want the outline of this image. Now, if you notice carefully on this image here, you'll notice a sort of checkered pattern. And this is an image format that supports this type of transparency. But what about image formats that don't? So this one in particular here is a PNG. And I'm going to go ahead and download this image here. So let me download Kong and open up Kong here in our image editor. And let's take a look here. So again, we can see the pixels are transparent. They're not drawn. Now I can try to load this image up in SDL, but all I've got right now is the load BMP function. It's not in the right format. So let me go ahead and try to save this to a different format. And that would be the BMP format here for Kong. And I'll overwrite it. And I won't worry about the options for now. OK, so we've loaded a new image. I'm going to change which one we're loading in our program to Kong. And let's go ahead and recompile our program, rerun it and I'll bring the window in. Now we can see Kong here, and it does look transparent. But did it work? Well, one tip here when we're working with transparency, let's go ahead and change the background color of our render. So I'll go ahead and escape here. And let's give a nice sky blue to do this. So I'm going to change our render draw color here. So red, green, and something uh, blue here. And I'll put it in hexadecimal. OK. So let's try to rerun this. And if I rerun this, well, looks like, again, Kong is transparent. So let's go ahead and again uh, put this to the test once more. And I'm going to go ahead and just extend this line out here just to see if indeed Kong is perfectly transparent. And that means that we should see the line uh, be able to draw through the Kong and not any of the background here. OK, so it works here. So if we have an image that is already in a transparent format, SDL can handle this. And that's great. So we have this nice uh, image here. It's been set up with layers. And I've been able to just simply go to export Kong as a BMP image, and it works. Now, what happens, though, if Kong has a background? Or you just want to get rid of some of the detail? Well, that's where this function comes in in the SDL API where you have set color key. OK, so let's go ahead and explore this. So the idea would be I would have Kong here. And what I would do is choose some color. Now, typically, you would use some sort of weird or very intense color, like a cyan. 0, 255, 255 would be common. Or 255, uh, 0, 255, this sort of pink color. So let's go ahead and use that. These are the two common colors that you'll see. And what I'm going to do for this image is I'm going to change the background to this pink here. And again, it's very clearly highlighting the background or the features that we wouldn't want with Kong here. So let me go ahead and export this image. And I'm going to go ahead and do a brief um, just to show you what's going on. Kong.bmp here. And when I do export it, I want to replace it. And I am being careful in GIMP to output it. Uh, this time as a 24-bit image, because I just want the red, green, and blue attributes. Sometimes, as was previously shown, if you have the alpha component, which is not there, SDL can handle things. But I again want to show you the other use case where SDL can't handle, uh, or you just have red, green, and blue color information for your file format. So let's go ahead and export here, and we have Kong. Okay, 
So now let's go ahead and try to rerun this. I haven't changed anything in our program. And we get this image here. So we get Kong and all of the sort of uh, pinkish color here. And that's what we would want to mark as transparent. So let's go ahead and do that with the SDL color key function here. Now, how do I do this? Well, what I want to do is when I load my surface here, which I'm doing with my bitmap image, is I want to set the color key. So I have SDL set color key. And the key is saying, hey, ignore these particular pixels. Draw them as transparent. So if we haven't already done that in our image editor, we have a way to specify how to do that by setting a specific color to ignore those pixels. Again, usually a color like 255 for the red, zero for the green, and 255 for the blue. All right, so what's the surface that we're setting this up for? Well, it's just called surface. That's where we loaded uh, Kong.bmp. And any flags, so SDL true is the flag here. That's going to enable this color key here. So if we just take a moment to look at the parameters, we can see that here. And then what is the transparent pixel? Well, there's actually a really handy way to specify this, uh, SDL map RGB. And what SDL map RGB will do is it'll take whatever the format is for our surface, which we can get from our surface um, itself as one of the fields, and just sort of resolve it. So maybe it's a BGR image or something else if it's been loaded. So SDL has that actual information and we don't have to worry about it. And then now we just wanna figure out what's the background that we want to set as the color key, which would be 255, 0, 255, or you can write it in hexadecimal. And we close this function. So let's go ahead and recompile. And just a few errors here to fix with just a classic missing semicolon, recompile, rerun. And now if I run, we can see we have that same transparent background as before. So regardless if you have the transparency built into the image, or if you're trying to use a lighter weight media asset that doesn't have that transparency channel and want to set the key while the program's running, you can do that. Now, there is one thing I do wanna to highlight too, just to keep things straight, is that you wanna set the color key right after you load the surface. Because again, what happens when you create the texture is you're shipping that data over to the GPU. So it's best to my understanding for the SDL API to set the color key right after you load the surface if you want transparent pixels, and then you create your texture. So now you know how to do things transparently and you can have your artists or yourself create these awesome characters and load them up and no longer have just boring rectangles.